So, hello guys, and welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to present you the biome based set block, or set biome, set, the block based set biome 1.0. I always mess that one up. Anyway, uh, let's get into this. First of all, I'm going to set it because this is a pretty simple filter, uh, and I don't think it's too much to show in Minecraft. In fact, I can demonstrate it using an old filter, the biome based block replacer, or biome based replacer, I think it was called, which I will link in the description probably. Um, anyway, onto this filter. Um, this was suggested by Let's Bone Stuff. Basically what it does is, it sets the biome of columns based on whether or not it finds a certain block in them. So that's quite useful as you can get guess from map makers. Um, the only biome tool I know about until now was Setlink's filter, which I will also link. And this one was, this filter is basically, as far as the code is concerned, I added like five lines. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you should also check that out. Here, I will link to his filter in the description. So. First of all, there's uh, the uh, filter by sampling I based myself on, then there's Resum stuff who suggested this, and then there's also um, my old filter, the block based, no, the biome based replacer, which I will use to test this. Going very well, as you can tell. Anyway, we've got a selection, let's go to filters, um, the biome based replacer 1.0. Oh, wait, that's, that's the wrong one. Ah. I always messed it up. Um, so let's, uh, for this example, I'm going to take netherrack and I'm going to say every column where you find another rack within a selection replace it by hell. So that's another biome. Uh, by the way, I did, as you can tell, this list is a bit different than the one I used last time. Why? Um, I basically have generalized things for a bit. I will talk about in a second if you want to use this filter, how to install because it's a bit more complex than usually usual. Um, yeah, but I'll talk about it in a second. So. Netherrack, hell, let's do that. Of course, you're not going to see any difference, so that's why where the biome based replacer gets involved. We're just going to say hell over here. Uh, let's go for thick edges. Uh, the other ones don't really matter as much. Oh, I should probably add like a non to this. Yeah. Well, that's not a filter which I already published. Uh, this is a new version anyway, which is not public, so it doesn't matter. Uh, replace air by nether. Fences. Yeah, that sounds so cool. Okay, let's do that. And as you can see, it just outlined netherrack, not because it looked at netherrack, but just because it looks at the biomes. And you saw that all those block uh, columns had a, a hell biome inside of them. So let's save that, uh, deselect, so now you can see what it looks like. So that's pretty cool, in my opinion. Uh, now we can go back. Uh, let's do something a bit more complicated. So we are now. So now we remove the blocks, but the biomes are still the same. So what we can do is we can take this area and we can use, uh, again, use our biome based replacer. Or, sorry, our, our block based set biome. We're going to replace everything in another rack by uh, end. I think would, the end would be a good idea, I think. So let's take a look. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. Let's just go something easy like, oh, there I meant here it is. Uh, there we go. Now we're going to take the whole selection again. And yeah, basically, this little part over here is now the end. This, the rest of the netherrack is uh, hell, and all the other stuff is desert. So let's do this again. And yeah, as you can tell, it doesn't include this part anymore because it's not looking at the netherrack; it's just looking at the biomes. So yeah, that's basically the filter. Um, so if you want to use this, the installation is going to be a bit more difficult than usual. I'm trying to generalize some stuff because. Basically, I started copying an another biome list uh, with IDs and names last uh, while making this filter, and I thought I should probably um, generalize this. So I decided to create a file, which is biomes.py. We'll be able to uh, download it in the description. Um, I basically based it off a sapling's list in his filter, and also added some stuff and removed some stuff based on the wiki entry. If you don't trust the wiki, Please inform me about what you think is wrong on there. I'll link to the wiki page which I used to uh, for this list. Uh, anyway, so I used that. And basically, it's the list you have right here. These are all the entries in that list you can download. It's very important that you, uh, when you try to run this filter, you need, inside of your filters folder, you need to have a data folder, data uncapitalized. Inside data, you need a main folder, uncapitalized. And inside main, you need to have your biomes.py. Uh, file which contains all of the biomes uh, i basically want to go with that structure for now um, i used to not have that main folder there but i thought 
for some filters, you would want to have uh, data specific for that filter. Uh, however, biomes is something which will be shared across multiple filters, which have, to have, have stuff to do with biomes. There's also another file, names.py, which has something to do with this filter, but it's something uh, I use in some other filters. And uh, yeah, next time I make a filter out that, I will probably do some updates and such. But for now, that's the way it's going to work. And whenever I release the 1.1 or the 2.0 version, I'll also talk about that for the other filter. Anyway, I think I'm making this video a bit longer than it should be. So easy filter should be useful for some app makers who want to, you could say, create a bit more organic biomes, not just squares <laughs> or rectangles rather. Uh, and yeah, I think it's going to be about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Even if you didn't, leave a rating. And I hope I will see you in another video.